the offense for the Miami Dolphins should look very different with new head coach Mike McDaniel at the helm. Which players will benefit the most? It finally happened. Nearly a month after Brian Flores was relieved of his duties as head coach, the Miami Dolphins have found someone to fill the vacant position. After a long search that included interviews with the likes of Dan Quinn, Vance Joseph, and Kellen Moore, and swirling speculation about Jim Harbaugh perhaps making the leap back into the NFL, the Dolphins have decided on Mike McDaniel. The former 49ers offensive coordinator has been a coach in the league for 14 years, and has been the one assistant that Kyle Shanahan has carried with him on his staff for over 10 years and across four teams. He brings a running game specialty, and has been known as one of the more innovative game planners in the league. McDaniel is the seventh straight rookie head coach that the Dolphins have hired, and some were calling for Miami to buck the trend and bring in someone with experience. But as the league has changed, and some of the successful up-and-coming head coaches are younger than some players, including Matt LaFleur, Sean McVay, and Brandon Staley. Interestingly, McDaniel comes from the same coaching tree that the first two emerged from. Ownership in the front office is hoping that he can replicate the early success that the others have had, which would make him one of the most successful coaches that the franchise has had since Don Shula. So what will McDaniel bring to the table? The Dolphins are hoping that he will lead them to their first playoff appearance since 2016, and in doing so will maximize the potential and output of certain players. Which guys on Miami roster will benefit the most from the presence of the new coach and new schemes? Here are the top three options. Tua Tungavailoa. Mike McDaniel is not a quarterback whisperer. If you are hoping that he will undoubtedly be the key that unlocks Tua Tungavailoa's true potential, you may be setting yourself for disappointment. It is easy to fall into that trap when you have an underperforming quarterback and an offensive guru is brought in to be the leader, but McDaniel has specialized primarily in the run game. That is not to say that his presence won't benefit Tungavailoa, however. The Dolphins' offense has been notably limited over the course of Tua's first two seasons in the league, and because of the limitations, the jury is still out on what his ceiling is. The offensive line has been putrid, and the lack of a running game has hurt any progress in crucial development seasons for the young quarterback. But with a couple of veterans added to the front line and an innovative running scheme in place, the only place for Tunga Vailoa to go is up. Many will point to the shortcomings of Jimmy Garoppolo as evidence that McDaniel isn't going to elevate Tua's play to the next level. That will be an unknown until the season actually starts, but the truth about it is that McDaniel was able to get that much out of his offense despite the issues that plagued the quarterback position for the 49ers. Jalen Waddell, one of the most obvious beneficiaries of McDaniel presence in offensive game plan was wide receiver, running back Debo Samuel. Prior to week 9 of the 2021 season, Samuel was used primarily at his usual position at wide out, getting touches as a running back, a total of six times in nearly two months. But Mike McDaniel and the 49ers staff unlocked a hidden gem when they used Samuel out of the backfield. The new running back became a sensation for San Francisco, as Debo became one of the most explosive threats in the league due to his dual threat ability. While he may not be used out of the backfield, and shouldn't be, it is Jalen Waddell who could be the offensive weapon that McDaniel schemes and play calling could benefit the most. He doesn't have the size to be considered a threat as a running back, but he is the most versatile and explosive weapon on Miami roster. Waddell had heavy usage in the Dolphins' offense during his rookie season, and it could be argued that he was even underutilized. That certainly won't be the case in 2022, as Waddell will look to put up another 100-plus catch season, and 1,200 to 1,300 receiving yards is not out of the realm of possibility. Christian Wilkins. One of the in-game clips of McDaniel running schemes that has made the most rounds on Dolphins' Twitter is the one where he uses offensive lineman Trent Williams as a fullback and pulling blocker. The play design is creative, and has worked for solid positive yardage more often than not. If McDaniel wishes to implement some of the same ideas into the Dolphins' offense, then he'll have a few options when it comes to big, athletic bodies that he could throw in motion. When looking at the offensive line, Robert Hunt comes to mind, given his now infamous non-touchdown in which he showed off his nimbleness to a prime-time national audience. But there may be an even more viable option. It is no secret that defensive tackle Christian Wilkins wants to be inserted into the offensive game plan as often as possible, and those wishes have come to fruition with his backfield work around the goal line. If McDaniel were to come to Wilkins with the idea of making him a pulling lead blocker on crucial running downs, the latter would be more than happy to fill the role that Williams had in that scheme in San Francisco.